Hello, my name's Clive Budden. I'm a lecturer at Mid Kent College Medway. And today I'm going to be showing you how to solder a copper pipe together. So first of all, we're going to make sure that our copper pipe is reasonably clean. This has a new pipe and a new fitting, so we don't really need to clean it very much, as the flux that we'll be using is slightly acidic and helps to clean the pipe anyway. Okay, what we need to do is apply flux to the end of the copper. This will help keep the pipe clean and free of oxides. The solder will not adhere to the copper oxide, it only adheres to the clean copper. We're also going to put flux inside the fitting. Just a very thin smear on both surfaces. We need flux inside the fitting if we're going to convey water through the pipe. However, if we were just going to convey gas, then we could just put it on the ends of the pipe because the gas won't flush any excess through, whereas the water will clean the inside of the pipe out when we run it through. So there's our flux on the fitting and on the pipe, and then we just assemble the joint. At this point, you can take a rag and remove any excess flux. We don't want flux where we don't want the solder to flow to, so really only inside the fitting. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, lead-free solder today. It helps to put a little bend in the end of the solder like that to help you access the fitting. I'm going to be feeding the solder in here at the end of the fitting. Here and here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the fitting from one side and apply the solder from the opposite side. This way I know that the heat is transferred all the way through the fitting and I'm not just going to melt the, the solder on one side. So, light the torch. A dull roar on the torch is all we need. We don't need a really fierce flame. And you want to hold it about 25 millimeters away from the fitting, and on the fitting only. No need to wave the flame about. Just keep that steady heat on there. So I'm heating from one side, I'm going to apply the solder from the opposite side so I know that the heat has travelled all the way through the fitting. And there it runs, and a little bit underneath, I can just take the heat away now, a little bit more. And that's the fitting completed. If there are any little runs, you can warm it gently, take a rag, and just clean any excess off. The fitting now needs to be left to solidify and then it can be cooled summarily under the tap. 